Well, it's a shocking murder that's left a family heartbroken and the international beauty community in disbelief. A Canadian hairstylist to the stars was killed in his L.A. home this past January. His wife is now facing murder charges. For the first time, his family is speaking out about the tragic incident. I was very set back. I was, I was in a, in a daze. I couldn't believe it. Fabio Simontilli was found stabbed to death in his L.A. home this past January. The body discovered in the backyard by his 17-year-old daughter. There was evidence that a, uh, a burglary had occurred. It was what we call a hot prowl burglary murder, and that's what it was initially uh, reported as. The killing was a shock to Sementilli's Canadian family and to the international hairstyling community. The 49-year-old had moved to L.A. from the GTA to work as a stylist to the stars about eight years ago with his wife, Monica, and their two daughters. Literally 10 days before he passed, and I was in their home, living in the home for four days, visiting, and I saw a loving couple. More shocking than his death would be the news that came five months later. In June, Fabio's wife, Monica, and a man named Robert Baker were arrested and charged with capital murder. In this case, the evidence took us to the, uh, to the wife, and we determined that the wife had a boyfriend, and the boyfriend is the one who actually did the stabbing, we believe. On Friday, the pair were indicted in L.A. by a grand jury of 17 who determined there's enough evidence to take the case to trial. If convicted, the pair could face life in prison or even the death penalty. Police are alleging the two suspects were after Fabio's $1.6 million life insurance policy, allegations which have not yet been tested at trial. With every little bit of news uh, that reflects some justice, we feel uh, relieved. We relive the, the heinous and unbelievable death of my, my beautiful brother. Sementelli leaves behind two teenage daughters and a son from a previous marriage. He had so much respect for his children, family. He never forgot anybody. And, and if they were the quiet person in the room or an underdog in the room, he'd always pay special attention to them. The pair are expected to be arraigned August 31st, where they'll enter their pleas and a trial date will be set. They're expected to plead not guilty. Meanwhile, the LAPD say they're still looking for a third person they believe was involved in the killing. Janella Massa, City News.